Today I'm working on a Chinese elm group planting and uh, it just needs a good tidy up and also good prune and we'll get cracking. I've got uh, these rocks uh, which I placed to uh, secure the trees. I think it may be time to remove them. Yep, the trees are quite secure. So these rocks can now come out and uh, the tree will then be able to so far, support themselves or they are able to support themselves. Also remove these weeds and some dead leaves and these rocks can come in handy in some other planting or with some other trees. I'll just quickly tidy up the pot, remove these weeds and uh, then we'll start working on the, on the tree. I'll zoom in um, to show the detail of the work that I'm going to be doing. And these wretched planes aren't helping. There's loads of them. They're flying again. And also it's very windy and it's still cold. And uh, it will warm up. It's just a matter of time. We're nearly there. Right, I think the pot is now as tidy as can be. Just a few little bits of weeds and uh, it's done then. I'll continue with this and we'll catch up shortly. I will prune this one and take this branch to explain why we leave between one and three leaves when pruning. Chinese elms. Normally we would, following the principle, we'd cut here and then we have three leaves left. The new growth would then come from the first leaf immediately below the cut, so it would go in that direction. And if we wanted the growth to go in that direction, we would need to cut here, so leaving two leaves. And that is called directional pruning and also clip and grow. And the reason for leaving an extra leaf, two or three, uh, one or two, is that if the leaf immediately below the cut, something happens to it, then yeah, the, the leaf below that kicks in and the new growth would come from the bud, which is between the branch and the leaf. So that's the reason why we leave between one and three leaves. I am plagued by the planes today. There's one plane landing at Heathrow every minute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue uh, pruning uh, this group uh, uh, on the principle I've just explained and we'll catch up shortly. I have just finished pruning the trees using the principle I explained earlier of leaving between one and three leaves. And this is a close up and uh, we'll sort of zoom out and uh, have a look at the whole composition. In this group planting there are seven Chinese elms, uh, three large ones at the front, three smaller ones in the middle and a fourth one uh, slightly set back. And I'll give it a quick turn. And you can see it, this is from one side. These are the four smaller trees at the back and we are now back to the front. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. This is Iqbal Khan for Mick Bonsai in West London. Until next time. And now for the afterthought. What's the difference between a hippo and a zippo? One's really heavy and the others a little lighter. You dig?